we can see that this week has started you can hear you can see it here the week has started here with this candle just a minute i need to zoom in the week has started here the price has gone up and then reach the start of this supply zone and then the price goes back down we can see three strong candles has pushed the price down i have entered into the trade here after the after the breakout has happened here we can sit here and the price on friday has continued even more down where the take profit is here so the price has started to move up and then there is a back down the price has made a breakout of this great demand zone we can see it here the price is closed to the thursday candle below that and then the price continued to move down now let's go to see and see a weekly time frame how this looks after the price has made a bounce from this here support confluence of support we can see it here the price has gone up reaching this resistance and then the price tried to move up reaching this area around 34350 and then reverses back down we can see it here this week has ended as this as this engulfing bearish candle which engulfs previous two candles now we can see also how the monthly time frame looks because we have one more week until this month ends so it's very critical to see how the next week will end because after this week ends it will also means how this month will end we will have two more days in the next week but it will be very interesting how the next week will close because very important levels for the monthly time frame are here just here at this support price level which means around three three we can around it, or sorry we can round it around this one here which is three two seven zero six visible on the monthly time frame so it will be very important to see will the month close below this one or it will stay inside because this you can see it here it is a very great confluence of support on the monthly time frame where we have a horizontal support and we have an uptrend channel currently acting as a support on the upper side if the price goes above which means the price needs to go above this price level in order to continue and to show some kind of a bullish strength but for now we can see last two months were bearish ones and this one is also bearish one but let's go to the weekly and see how this looks we can see that the very important level is this one here also for the weekly time frame it is an area around this one which is around three 3300 price level and also 3270 price level we need to see how this week will end but also have in mind that this is this is also a great support for the price which means there is a possibility that the price will have a hard time to close below this one now above this one for the uh, for the bulls the price needs to return above 336568 zero price level in order to continue to be and to show some kind of a bullish strength and then the price if it, if it goes above the price could reach this area here and then we could see what would happen will the price reach this supply zone and then bounce back up but this is everything visible on the daily time frame if the price goes below this one and that means below this area here which means three two seven nine eight we can round this like this below that the price could reach next one is this one here and it is 32300 zero zero price level now let's go to the daily time frame and see how this looks let's zoom out a little bit just to have a bigger picture how this looks three two we can see it here a very important level for the price is this one three two around three two nine and on the weekly time frame i have set three two seven price level you can see it here on the daily time frame it is also visible like a great support now if the price goes down and closes below this great support we can see it here if the price goes below that the next one where the price could stop is three two six zero and below that if the price goes down it will be around three two two seven zero we can see it here so it's very important to see how the price will behave around this support price level and if the price goes above the critical level that the price needs to break above is this one here first a smaller resistance and then above that the price needs to break this one great resistance which has which has held the price for a while 
in this week and then also make a problem for the price here which has pushed the price even more down. So for now, for the next week, I'm expecting that the price could drop here, reaching this great support. And after that, I need to see what the price will make. The best thing is to wait at the breakout and also confirmation of the breakout. If the price goes down, it will be it will be very nice to see how the price returns back up, confirming this breakout and then continue to move down. I will share my trading idea with the entry stop loss and take profit inside trading community. So if you would like to see and check it, you can also join. Now let's check the Nasdaq. That is all from today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading.